Okay, hello beautiful procession trainers people and welcome back to another video. Um, so basically I know the reason why you're all here and that is because you wanted an update on the snail situation. So remember in the last video where I was like, we found these silly snails in our organic bok choy and ha ha ha, it's just so silly to think that we're gonna get more snails or that we're actually gonna do anything about these snails. Okay, so now I can, you can see behind me we have a terrarium. So we bought a terrarium. So we've officially adopted these snails. And we had two snails. And those two snails fell in love. And their love produced babies. So now, if you can see, that little cluster of white balls, yeah, that, those, are, those are snail eggs. So we now have snail terrarium with these two snails who have fallen in love and are producing more snails. So that's, that's update number one on my life. <laughs> we now have fully and officially adopted snails. Okay, now update number two. I am and have been for the last almost year working on my mystery school uh, where I am teaching my curriculum on deep tissue cleansing. And I just kind of wanted to show you that the work is kind of like, it's a lot. I've written a lot. Um, I think, so if you don't already know, the mystery school is set up so that you're getting you're getting two videos a week with a uh, a write up of everything, and this is basically everything that I know about healing on a mental, emotional, spiritual, physical level, um, all all together, all united, and in a way that's breaking down exactly what to do, essentially on every level. And I just kind of wanted to show you the the massive. Uh, amount of just words written so yeah you can see over there it's 300 so far it's 381 pages of published material yeah yeah and then we got this is the links to all the videos so i think right now i have about 48 videos published and then, so essentially, I have about, um, how many? I have five weeks of content that I've created already, but that um, I haven't published yet um, because I'm f about five weeks ahead of where we're at with the school. And then I have another three weeks to go of content to create, and then I'll be done. And I think, again, it's going to end up being somewhere around 60 videos and a 400 page document so it's kind of like my magnum opus so i'm almost done writing that and i'm really excited about that and then so for this youtube um i'm thinking since uh, so this is the other thing i'm also working on a series uh for the youtube channel on codependency and m my my experience with codependency and abuse and the things that I've been through um, and I really want to share that story and the things that I'm sharing in that in that uh, video series with you um, but it's coming up on the holidays and it just feels like we need a little bit of a, a breather before we get into that stuff so essentially what I'm saying is this for the next five weeks I'm not going to be putting out a video on on YouTube Instead, I'm going to be publishing a blog series I wrote about why separation consciousness is not actually a devolution. Because I know that in the spiritual world, and yeah, mostly in the spiritual world, um, there, there has been talk forever that the fact that we are aware of our separateness of each other, we're aware of our egos, we're aware of our individual identities, is the reason we're all so in pain, the reason we all feel so separated from each other, and that this consciousness is a, is a devolution for humans, and that we need to return to unity consciousness. 
And I essentially in this blog series want to make an argument for the idea that that is actually not true. That coming from unity consciousness into separation consciousness was essentially just seeing the other side of the coin of the whole truth, which is that we are both, we are all, we are, consciousness is, at once, a unified whole that is made up of component parts. So it's not to say that our separate identities are false or not true. It's just that they're not the whole story. And it's the same thing as saying that to see us all as a unified whole is not false. It's only half of the story. So we need, I, I think that if we can start to kind of wrap our minds around the idea that that separation consciousness is something we're transitioning through in order to get to the higher level of consciousness where we can see the complexity of both, we might not suffer so much in our experience of separation consciousness. And we can start to move towards a unified consciousness. So not backwards toward unity consciousness, where we have no awareness of our separation, where we're all just a blob, right? Not backwards to that, but through separation consciousness to seeing how each individual plays its role in the whole and that we are not separate just because we look separate that we are completely united, working together, all connected as we do our individual stuff. So that is what I'm gonna be publishing. So I'm gonna be publishing one post a week for the next five weeks, and I'm just gonna keep putting the links down below under this video, so you can follow along with that. Leave me your comments, let me know what you think. Um, so we're gonna do that for the next five weeks. That's where I'll be publishing those videos. And then of course, if you want to see me, I'm on Instagram every day. Um, you can check out the Facebook page, um, all the other places. <laughs> and of course you can check out the mystery school if you want. Um, and that's that. So I'll, I'll be linking the, the blogs down below. I'll be updating every Monday, just like I would be here just on the website, on the blog instead of here. And then I will see you all in January and maybe we'll have like 8,000 sales by then. So uh, have a fabulous day, have a fabulous night and I'll see you in a month. Mwah.